Uh, welcome ladies and gentlemen to our second uh, livestock demonstration today. Uh, my name is Maria, for those of you who are not here this morning, and I'm going to be running through uh, the grooming preparation for uh, the dairy side. Um, I think firstly to note that this animal is not clipped off at the moment, and we'll be doing that clipping demonstration uh, later on this afternoon, it's the next demonstration after this, so please stick around for some uh, tips on what we do to get a cow ready for the shoring and what clipping involves. Uh, generally their hair will be much shorter than this, but we'll go through all of that later on. Also, uh, this is what we call the top line, so this would all be blown up, so that would be standing straight across the top of her, ba uh, her back, and that would be set for what we call clear magic. Um, I suppose the general things really with making sure that your dairy cow is ready for the ring is that she must be uh, spotlessly clean, uh, she must be presented very well along with yourself, um, as Shane was saying. Well, we don't wear white coats, um, but you know, you, you need to keep yourself clean and presentable while showing your animals as well. Um, and we have got white trousers and white shirts that can be really, really difficult uh, a lot of the time. So, uh, I think what we would always do in the dairy sector is that we would always be going behind the cow with a bucket, so we would never allow her to have uh, poo on her udder or her tail or her legs. Uh, we would collect that with a bucket all of the time um, and wipe her down with some paper. Uh, just to make sure that she's clean and tidy and it's easier for the clippers as well. Come on. Come on, good girl, good girl. Um, so just before we go into the show ring we'd have the top line set with what a product that we call Clear Magic. So we'd have the top line uh, all brushed up and then we'd set that with Clear Magic. And it's just like a really strong hairspray. So any of the girls that use hairspray, uh, it's pretty much the exact same, except that it's really, really strong. Um, and it, it's clear, as it says in the tin. Uh, so you don't actually see it uh, in the hair, but it just makes it stand up, it makes it stick, and it, it generally won't go anywhere unless it's absolutely lashing rain. Uh, we do use this for the tail as well. So generally for the tail, uh, we brush it backwards. So you, you back comb it basically. Um, I don't need to back comb my hair quite a lot of time, but I know a lot of routes do. So you back comb it, you hold it upside down, and then you spray it with Clear Magic, and that just sets it. So you want a tail with a, a big plume on the end of it that swishes around nicely. It just makes the cow look really, really stylish. If I was taking this cow out to a show today myself, I would put a fake tail on this. Um, girls do hair extensions all of the time. It's the same thing basically. So you have uh, long strands of hair, you, uh, you kind of judge it to a, probably about there, um, you push up all of that, you attach your fake tail onto this, you make sure that it covers the joining, so the same way that you'd always put your extensions in at the back, so that you'd cover it up, you're not going to put your extensions on the top of your head, it's the exact same with the cow, it is pretty much no different. And then uh, you make sure that that's all brushed up nicely. Um, and it just looks really, really stylish inside in the ring. It makes a big, big difference. The other thing that I would probably do is I would bleach this tail. So it's a little bit yellow. So I would just go to a hairdresser's, uh, buy some really strong hair bleach, mix it up, lash it on, leave it on for about 40 minutes, cover it with uh, an AI glove, um, and then rinse it out. And it just takes that really browny yellow tinge off, and you end up with a really nice, uh, light blonde tail and that works really really well if you've got a fake tail because they're usually a nice blonde as well. So they're things that we do with the tail. Uh, we also use black magic um, and we usually use the black magic for just the top lines so when you put on the clear magic it can give a, a clear impression sometimes so we'd use black magic so just along the black parts maybe on this piece sometimes um, and that's all that we would really use black magic for which is totally different to what Shane was telling us earlier on. So I would just use it along the black parts on the top here. Um, then just before we go into the class, I would use Final Mist. So Shane was talking about Final Mist as well, but we use it in a totally different fashion. Uh, we spray it pretty much all over the cow. So, so spray it all on, it smells really, really good and then we just gently brush it in. Now, as I said, she's not clipped, so it might not come quite as nice, but you'll probably see the difference in it there. 
that it gives her a lovely shine on her coat, makes her look really, really healthy, makes her stick out in the ring. You might even do an extra along the ribs, um, because as I said earlier on, our judging competition, we like uh, good with a, a rib and good deep ribs, so sometimes you'd put the extra final mist along the rib and you just rub that in, so it makes those ribs stand out just like that. I'm not sure if you can see it uh, from there. Does anyone have any questions? There's something else I was going to say, but I can't think of it. Um, yeah, final mist all over, uh, brush it in. Baby oil will do the exact same thing, or WD-40. They're the, the other two things that we use. WD-40 is, is really, really good as well. Just wipe it in with a nice soft brush. Uh, I prefer a softer brush than this, but a nice soft brush, just wipe it in. Um, and it gives that lovely, gives that lovely um, texture to the coat. We would clip and wash about six or eight weeks before the show, and then the week leading up to the show, you'd probably wash nearly every day, really, um, because you'd be clipping in the days leading up to the show. So you'd clip before and after, you'd wash before and after clipping. Shampoo-wise, um, we there's lots of different shampoos in the market. Uh, Fairy liquid works just as well as anything else. It's cheap. There's no point in in buying really expensive brands, especially if you're starting off. Um, and kids are probably looking for all sorts of really expensive things. But uh, fairy fairy liquid or any of those washing up liquids will will do the same thing. Um, give a really nice shine to the coat. We did that well clipped up, clipped off. But you need if you clip it off in advance, you get a really nice new coat because that's quite old hair. So you get a really really nice new coat coming through and that's what you want. It's much easier to clip, it's much easier to set. In relation to taking out the top line, um, it does stick like glue. Uh, it is quite difficult to get off, but once again, uh, I'm not sure if Shane uses this. We use uh, WD-40 for spraying it off. Yeah, so we use WD-40, so you just spray in all the WD-40, get a piece of blue paper, rub it in well, um, and that will bring most of it off. We usually do that once we get home from a show, and then we power wash them all off. Uh, if you leave that, uh, glue in the hair it just it just destroys the hair it's like leaving makeup on all night you know same thing really um, so yeah we'd always come home from a show and wash out the tops it's just the phrase we use we'd wash out the tops uh, we do the same with the face just um, just brush it down make sure it's clear of any dust of any straw or hay uh, bits of silage out of our mouth get a tissue wipe her nose just make sure she's clean and presentable you want her to stand out as much as she can when she walks into the ring you want her to catch the judge's eye straight away uh, there was a bit of a fashion a few years ago especially with black um, cows like herself is that people would spray some glitter on the cows it was a particularly european thing for the big big shows where you had really sparkly lights um, and if you sprayed the cow with glitter i mean it just it looked amazing but that seems to have gone out of fashion again it's, it'll probably come back around like everything else um, but for a day like this, you wouldn't really be using glitter. Um, but for some of the big shows, the indoor shows with lots of fancy lights, glitter is definitely uh, a nice one. With the hooves, you'd make sure they're just clean and tidy, uh, with no muck on them. Um, sometimes you'd spray a bit of clear magic on them just to shine them up. But a lot of the time, if you're in a, in a ring like today, there's no point, there's grass and there's muck anyway. If you're in a, a ring with sawdust, sawdust gets stuck to it, so there's probably not a lot of point a lot of time. Just make sure that they're clean and presentable and well trimmed. Apart from that, I think that's it. Is anybody any questions on anything that we use or any products that you've seen yourselves? Okay, Maria. No. Sorry. I don't. Not with me. If you head up to the, the dairy show rings. Um, sorry, it was Chris. You want to know if I had an example of a fake tail? <laughs> um, if you go up to the the dairy show rings. Um, and some, watch some of the cows coming out later on, you will you see that they have fake tails um, and they'll, there'll be certainly some of those with fake tails out today. Um, so you'll definitely see them up there. Yeah, uh, so give a, give a look around. And you can see them actually, if you go up to the dairy rings today, you'll see lots of people getting cows ready, they're clipping, everyone's brushing down, everyone's following cows with buckets. Um, and it's quite entertaining if you're not used to it, because we're used to it, so we don't take any notice. But if you're not used to it, to watch people running around cows with buckets and pieces of toilet paper in their hands, it's, it's a really uh, entertaining day. So uh, give a run up, ask questions, or anybody, everyone's really, really friendly, um, and ask questions. Um, just before I go, uh, 
at the risk of uh, droning on too long and boring everybody. Uh, the Irish Hospital and Regional Association has a Young Members Association and we, in the Young Members we do a lot of this. We'll do workshops in getting cattle ready on judging, uh, raising, giving, showmanship, clipping, everything. There's loads of people to help out and show you what to do if you're a new starter, if you want, think you want to get interested. I don't have a dairy herd myself, we never had showing cattle, so other people have taught me everything I know. So everyone's really friendly, you can borrow a calf um, and they'll set you off in the right direction. But if you get in contact with the IHFA, they'll start send you in the right direction and there's a book and a DVD to get you started with lots of tips as well. So I think that's it. If anybody has any questions, I'll be around so you can give me a call. Okay, super stuff. Thanks, Maria. So we've groomed... The